It is very early in the morning. <laughs> Let me have a look. What is it, uh, 20 to 6. I got up at uh, 10 to 5 and I've come down to a spot where I've wanted to come for some time uh, called Zenith Beach, just near my house. I wasn't really sure what tide was perfect, so I'm sort of mid-tide, it's on the way in. It's, it was low a couple of hours ago, which means that the water hasn't quite reached where I wanted it to, where there's this particular rock that I want to use in my foreground, which is sort of just jutting out there. And um, I'm hoping it won't be long and the water will be up and just slapping around there by the time sunrise gets here. Lots of high wispy clouds, so perfect for a nice sunrise. And um, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll get set up, keep my fingers crossed, there's some beautiful colour in the sky. We're going to get Mount Tomaree in the uh, in the image, which is just a you know beautiful mountain on its own, uh, with this rock in the foreground, and of course a beautiful sunrise at the beach. What more could you ask for? All right, let's get set up. Let's get it happening. All right, well, I've got my composition sorted and uh, got this great big rock in the way. There's some nice color starting to happen. Not gonna get what I wanted with the um, water coming around this rock, I don't think. It's gonna be way too early for that, but that's okay. You can see the beach in the distance and yeah, it's a beautiful shot. And this rock really does set it off nicely, so. Hopefully the colour will continue to burst and we'll just continue to get it. I'm just at the moment shooting at sort of uh, F13, ISO 64. It's giving me six seconds, so nice long exposure. And uh, yeah, just beautiful composition. Can't beat this, just can't beat it. The um, high cloud forecast was for 100% high cloud with the, I used the clear sky app. And um, look, it's partially accurate. <laughs> There's a lot of wispy cloud up there. It's not going to be amazing, but it's going to be good enough. It's going to be, it's going to be good enough. Well, it's pretty busy down here this morning. There's been several photographers come past and I've had to try and stop them from walking through the sand in my foreground because I am right up against the rocks. And uh, they're trying to do the right thing by coming around behind my camera, but then there's only one little spot uh, where the sand goes in between these two rocks. And that, uh, unfortunately is the only spot they can walk through so they're they're walking through there and i've already had to wipe out some footprints with my hand i'll have to photoshop them later but it's such a popular spot and the forecast was for it to be pretty nice this morning so yeah uh is what it is um, I'll, I'll walk you through my composition and then i'll tell you what i'm doing because i've got a, a fair bit going on this morning because of the way that i've composed this shot so if you have a look here See, I've got, if I sort of put it next to my camera, roughly that's sort of what I've got. Hard to see the colour in the sky over there because of the, it's a bit blown out because of the rock in the foreground, but right now the, the sky over there is beautiful and orange. You've even got this big rock and then in the distance you've got that mountain and sort of you've got a gap in between the two with the water through there. It would be really nice if the water came up around this rock and so I think what I need to do is come up here at an almost high tide and I think I'll get that um, now because that rock is there, I've actually shot a little bit of HDR, so you can see my composition on the back of the screen there. I've actually done a little bit of HDR, so the reason is because what I want to do is try and get the um, the rock, detail of the back of the rock. So I've overexposed the rest of the scene so I can get that. Although, you know, this is very good at pulling the shadows out, that's probably my best bet at getting the detail on that rock because it is very bright on the other side and can't use filters at all because as soon as you slide a filter in, you're gonna darken half of that rock down. It's gonna look very weird. You're also gonna slide one in, darken half of that mountain down, which is also gonna look very weird. So, so yeah, just trying to find a good composition. Sometimes it's difficult and obviously without the water up here, making it even more difficult, but you can see that wispy cloud up in the sky, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully that's all gonna color up. It is uh, still about, yeah, it's still about 10 minutes away from sunrise. So we've still got a bit of time uh, up our sleeve and there's a fair bit of cloud up on the horizon. So that might, might dampen our efforts, but let's just see what happens. Yeah, boy, boy, we are about 20 minutes away from sunrise and uh, 
still is not going off as much as I thought it was going to and I don't think it's going to go off that much to be honest with you so uh, like I said I'm doing a bit of HDR so I'm doing a manually bracketing so I'm doing a minus four and I'm just using my exposure compensation so I just did a minus four not easy to see there I'm just, this is a minus two which is one second I'll then do an, a, a, a zero, so no exposure comp, that's four seconds. And then I'll do a plus two, which is 13 seconds. The good thing about that is I can blend through some of the rock detail later. Um, and that's, you know, I haven't done HDR for a long time, but I've been doing it a little bit more lately, just because, it's, I don't know, it's been very needed. <laughs> has been needed so yeah I can see by looking through my images that I've got everything that I need I might even just change my composition ever so slightly it's hard hard one maybe I just need to zoom in a bit yeah I think that's it zooming in a bit is what I need perfect okay cool so I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer um, it is very busy, there's more people coming down. It's school holidays, it's the day after the Easter long weekend, so every man and his dog are down here, which is an Aussie saying if you're not from Australia. Every man and his dog <laughs> it means there's a lot of people down here. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of people down here, a lot of photographers. And so, you know, it's just about putting up with that when you're trying to get a shot. You know, got somebody walking straight across the beach in front of me. But, you know, we'll just have to Photoshop them out. The beach is here for everybody, isn't it? So, unfortunately, we just got to put up with it. And that's pretty much par for the course. Just continually walking around my scene. I might even do an extra one at a bit higher, like a plus four or something. All right, well, we've got about 10 minutes to sunrise and there is some really beautiful colours up in the sky so I've sort of pointed the camera up if you can see that so I've sort of got it pointing more skyward to try and get the wispiness up there because it definitely is going off but uh, yeah it's not going to be spectacular it's just going to be good how's that but it's beautiful to be here anyway so we'll just keep shooting away I'm still at f13 I'm stop bracketing now I'm just shooting at uh, minus two exposure value just to stop the highlights from blowing out I always exp expose for the highlights and then bring the shadows up later in post-production which is the easy way to go um, yeah beautiful morning just the place to be all right well really happy with what I've got so far it's been some beautiful light um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to do one more bracketed shot just to make sure I get all the detail of this rock in the foreground here because the rock really is the hero so just manually doing it, minus four, minus two. I'm just using the exposure compensation button. We'll do a zero exposure. Something that uh, you know you would do with film typically, and you would only use one of the exposures, obviously, uh, but that would make sure that you got it right because film has a lot of variables. As where with this, what we're doing is we're, we're, we're doing the bracketing we're doing it so we can merge them together later and turn them into one HDR image. Anyway, pretty much it now. I think sunrise has come and uh, beautiful morning. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully the photos work out good. I think they will. Looking at them on the back of my computer, my computer, my uh, camera here. Really happy with the composition. I would just love a bit more water up a bit higher. So I'm going to have to come back to this location when the tide's up at almost full, I think and recapture this, but sometimes not having the water is actually, um, you know, as good as well, because there's, you can see the water in the background, but not having the foreground moving, it just, it's just another element that might distract the eye from this amazing, really amazing rock. So anyway, I'm sure the photos will work well. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do, and uh, hopefully you get out there and you take some photos. See you on the next one.